Hey, what's up? This is Caleb with School of Motion, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use this brand new feature in After Effects called Master Properties. Now, Master Properties has the potential to dramatically change your After Effects workflow, especially when it comes to doing tedious tasks. So let's hop in. So the first thing that you need to do is download the project file to follow along with this tutorial. You can find that project file over on our website. Just click the link in the description of this video. So the first thing that we need to do is talk about what master properties actually do. So let's take this example. So if we're inside of After Effects and we want to pre-compose something, let's say we want to pre-compose these three triangles down here. So we have this animation and the triangles kind of move over just like that. So what you would typically do is select all of your triangles here, you would go to layer, pre-compose, or hit command shift C, and we would call this um, triangle comp and hit OK. Now, what happens if you duplicate this triangle and you rotate it by 180 degrees, and let's say that you want to actually change the colors of these triangles up here, but you don't want to change the colors of these triangles down here. What would you do? Well, Usually what you have to do in After Effects is you would physically have to go in now and double click in here. You'd have to copy all of these triangles. You'd have to paste them. You'd have to pre-compose those, rotate it. It's an annoying process to say the least. So master properties basically allow you to change certain properties inside of compositions that can then be pushed to master compositions. And so they are appropriately named master properties. So I'm going to go ahead and undo all of those changes that we just did and I'm going to get down to some very specific examples. So let's say that you were tasked with creating some graphic intros for a new HGTV show called Master Properties. And Master Properties wanted you to create four different intros with different background colors. Now Typically, the way that you would do this is by duplicating your composition four different times and going in and changing the composition. But with master properties, uh, it's really, really easy to do this in a non-destructive way. So what I'm going to do is go up here to window and I'm going to make sure we have our essential graphics panel selected. And when we have that selected, go in here and hit solo supported properties. So this is going to pop up all of the properties that are available to you. Um, to use in an essential graphics panel or a master properties composition. So you'll notice that with the latest update to After Effects, you now have the ability to uh, bring over new properties like anchor point position and scale. That's very handy. If you want to learn more about using the essential graphics panel to edit After Effects compositions in Premiere Pro, go check out the essential graphics tutorial here. On School of Motion. So what I'm going to do is scrub all the way down to the bottom to our background layer here and I'm going to drag up this color that's being generated from this fill effect and we'll call this BG color and I'm going to go up here to this clear box color this little box right here and I'm going to drag up that color and we'll just call this the box color. Excellent. So what we can do now is take this logo here uh, this logo intro composition and I'm going to drag and drop this into the new composition button. So basically it's nested inside of a new composition. And now if we click this drop down menu here, you're going to see a new uh, menu option called master properties. And if we go ahead and select that, you'll see two very uh, familiar properties here. You'll see our background color and our box color. So now what we can do is we can change uh, these colors to whatever we want. So let's uh, change this to an orange, maybe about like this. And we can change the box color as well. Maybe we want to do like a gray, about like that, and hit OK. And we can duplicate this uh, composition by just going to logo the logo intro and dropping it onto the new composition button. And in fact, I'm going to name that logo intro 2 to the orange comp. And this logo intro 3, we can call this the blue comp. And we'll do exactly what you think. We're going to change the colors in our master properties to blue. So let's go to the background color here and we'll change this to maybe a baby blue about like that. And we'll change the box color to maybe black. Kind of want it to be like real bold 
Uh, that's looking great. And let's go ahead and drag that logo intro to a new composition again. And for this one, we're gonna use, let's say red. So let's take the background color. We're gonna do like a real kind of bright red about like that. And for the box color, we'll do white, just like that. So that's really bold. And let's do this one more time actually. Um, and I'll call this the red comp. And take that logo intro, drop it in there. And let's just kind of pick a random color here. Pick, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe like uh, yellow, about like that. Maybe like really desaturated yellow. And we can change the box color to, let's do the opposite of yellow. So let's do like a bright kind of blue, about like that. Excellent. So let's say that we sent this off to HGTV and they loved it. And not only did they love it, they loved it so much that they decided to do a spin-off show called Master Mansions. And let's say that they really want the colors of Master Mansions to be red and yellow. So what we can do is we can actually connect and we can tie in the text properties to this master properties template here, and we can adjust the text for individual compositions. So let me kind of show you rather than tell you here. So I'm gonna to go to our original logo intro comp here and I'm gonna drag up our source text. I'm gonna drop it right there. So now, if we go to our red comp here, you'll see that we have a new property that we can adjust, the source text. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the source text and hit click edit value. Uh, it took us a little while to find this, but this is how you change the text. So right click, edit value, and we're gonna change this from properties to mansions with an exclamation point and click OK. So now we have master mansions, and I'm gonna go to our yellow uh, composition here, and I'm going to change the source text again to mansions, and I'm gonna do two exclamation points on this because this is a really cool show. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And in fact, that box color is like really bothering me. I'm just gonna do like black and click OK. So let's say we sent this to HDTV and they were really happy with it, but they decided that they would like these triangles down here to be uh, custom colored for their specific compositions. Well, that's no problem. So we can go back to our original composition here and we can find our triangles and our triangles are labeled left triangle, mid triangle, and right triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and drag up the left triangle into our essential graphics panel right here and we'll call this left triangle. We'll go to the mid triangle and do the exact same thing. So drag up the color. We'll call this mid triangle and then we'll do the same thing for the right triangle. So now what we can do is if we go to any of our compositions here, we can uh, change the colors. So now if you wanted to change the colors of these triangles, you have all of the swatches right here. So we can change uh, the middle triangle to, let's just pick some sort of orange color, maybe about like that and click OK, and we can go back over here to the blue comp, and we can change the left triangle to an orange color, maybe about like that, that's looking pretty swell. Go to the red, and we can pick maybe a real deep dark red, about like that, cool. And let's go to our last composition here, and we will change the middle triangle value to black, and click away. So let's say that we sent all four of these out to our client, and they really, really liked this version, the one with the black. In fact, they liked it so much that they want all of the compositions to reflect these same colors. Now, what we can do is go in individually and change the colors by hand, and that's totally fine. But a cool feature with Master Properties is this push and pull feature right here. What we can do, if we go ahead and hit the push to master comp button, that is gonna change the default mid triangle color value across all of the compositions that have not been adjusted. And let me explain what I mean by that. So if we go to our original logo comp, you can see that all three of the triangles are now black. If we go to our red comp, you'll see that that middle triangle is black, but the red triangle on the far right is red. 
And the reason why is because we've already changed that value to its own custom value. To reset it, all you have to do is pull from master comp and it's gonna pull the color um, from our master composition. So now that's black. We can go back to our blue comp and do the exact same thing and our orange comp and do the exact same thing. So um, all four of our compositions now are reflecting the triangle color that is in our original logo intro. So as you can see, master properties are going to be a really big deal in After Effects. And we're only beginning to scratch the surface of what is possible. I'm sure there will be lots of really fun and useful ways in which you can use master properties to enhance your motion design workflow. So if you have any ideas, please let us know in the comments of this video. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them our way. This has been Caleb Ward. We'll see you next time.